Hi, it's Dr. Joe DeMarco, chiropractor in Ono Vocra Med Health. Have you been noticing on, on your chest workouts that you're starting to feel restriction on one side? You, you notice it as you're lowering the weight down, whether it's with dumbbells or barbells or even on machines, you notice that on one side, you're feeling that tightness, that restriction. It doesn't want to move as, as comfortably as the opposite side. And you can tell it's a bad type, it's a bad type of tightness, like it's a potential serious injury waiting to happen, whether it's a pec tear or maybe just a bad strain to the pec major. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to loosen that pec major up with some simple effective techniques. So let's get right to it. So before we get started, if you haven't done so already, I'd really, really appreciate it if you just take a second, subscribe to my channel, Oprah Med Health on YouTube, click that little bell notification. It notifies you every time I upload a new video. And at the end of today's video, if you find this information helpful, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up, okay? So we're gonna go over restoring mobility to the, to the chest shoulder area, to that pec major area in two steps. Step one is how to properly warm up the muscle to get blood flowing. It's going to make the stretch technique uh, more, it's going to make it safer and it's going to make it more effective if we warm it up properly. Stretching a cold muscle is never good. The more we can warm it up before we stretch it, the better. Okay, so that'll be step one. Step two is we're going to utilize a stretching technique known as a contract relax technique. Now, a contract relax technique, a lot of times technically it's referred to as a PNF type of a stretch, which is short for proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. We're not saying that word anymore, those three words anymore today, but suffice to say, a contract relax technique can be very, very effective. And here's why. We, our body has this natural protective mechanism known as a myotatic reflex. And basically what a myotatic reflex does is it helps us prevent injury by overstretching a muscle. When you do a contract relax technique, it, it allows the nervous system to kind of override that myotatic reflex so we can stretch the muscle just a little bit more in a, in a safe manner, but just be, it allows us to stretch just that little bit extra, which makes a huge difference a lot of times when we're trying to restore mobility. So that's what we're going to go out and do today. We're going to do some, uh, we're gonna, part one, we're going to go over how to warm up the muscle. Part two, we're going to go over this awesome contract relax technique to restore some, some mobility in there. So let's get right to it. Okay, so let's get started on how to properly warm up the soft tissue in this area. Before we, before we do that, I should mention, as far as the common question people ask, like, how often can I do this? You know, when can I do this? Can I do this before I work out? Can I do it after I work out? So here's the thing. If you have restriction in the pec major and in the shoulder area, you can be working this, this, this warm up and stretch that I'm going to show you every day on a daily basis. You can be doing some work to help restore the mobility. However, you know, there's going to maybe there's a time where it's it, today's your chest workout. You're noticing that restriction. You still want to get your chest workout in and you want to get that mobility so that you can get through your chest workout. So if you if you if your mobility, if your restriction isn't too, too bad, you could use these techniques right before you work out to loosen it up so that you can get through a safe, effective chest workout. However, keep in mind that if you do that before your chest workout, that's not a day for like a heavy chest workout. You know, you don't want to be trying to push heavy weight around after we just did some contract relax techniques and a little bit of soft tissue work to loosen it up. Keep the, the chest workout that day a little bit on the lighter side. Like keep, keep the weights a little lower, the reps a little higher. Get your chest workout. You can get a tremendous pump in, but just it isn't the day to do a heavy chest workout. So just, so just keep that in mind. I just want everyone to stay safe and, and injury free. So, okay. Everything I'll show you today on how to get some blood flow in here. If you have no fascia release instruments or tools at home, you can just use the knuckles of your hand. I'm gonna show you with some fascia release instruments on how you can loosen this up. So first off, this is what's called a game changer from Okra Med Health. It's got a couple textured massage balls that rotate. This is one of my favorite toys these days. I love using this, especially for warm-ups. But you can take this game changer and you can go right over the entire front of the, the chest shoulder area across the pec major. So I would just spend a couple of minutes with as much pressure as you can press into the, the tissue, just going over the muscle tissue, try to come up right underneath the clavicle because there's a clavicular portion of the pec major, come right along the sternum because the pec major attaches in, in this area too, then come to the lower part of the pec major, 
and try to go in different directions. Like you spend 30, 40, 50 seconds going this way, then spend some time taking the, the game changer and going up and down like this. So go in different directions to stimulate blood flow. Then go right across the front of the shoulder, get the bicep tendons, get the anterior delt, get some blood flowing in there, and, and, and spend a couple of minutes just generating blood flow, okay? As much pressure as you can tolerate. Now, you know, the other option to this and you can, is you can also take a spiky massage ball. This is a Tai Chi Max ball from Okra Med Health, and you can do the same exact thing just with your palm of your hand, rubbing all those different areas, okay? Now, if you're going over the, the tissue, and as you're going over the tissue, you actually find like a knot in there, like you feel like, like something that feels just like an adhesion buildup in there or some scar tissue buildup in there. When you find that particular knot, and that could be the restriction that's, that the, 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 this, the adhesion you feel in there could be why you're feeling some loss of motion lately. Well, when you find it, just take the, the ball or the, or the game changer and spend an extra 60 or 90 seconds just going over that knot. Just go side to side, you know, all different directions, make little circles up and down, and spend an extra 60 or 90 seconds on a particular knot if you happen to find one, okay? So we're looking at maybe three or four minutes tops. But after doing that, you're going to have a ton of blood flow now in the tissue that we're about to stretch. And that's going to make the stretch very, very safe to do. And it's going to make it that much more effective. So let's get right to the stretching. Okay, so we have some blood flowing through the soft tissue. Now we can move on to the stretch. And we're going to do a contract, relax stretch as we talked about. So get up against a door jam or the side of a squat rack. And you're gonna put your hand up here, almost in the position as if you were doing a, a pressing type of motion, okay? So the elbow's bent. Stand up straight. If my left hand is on the squat rack here, I'm gonna take a slight step forward with my right leg. And I'm gonna lean into, I'm gonna lean forward with my torso here. As you lean forward, feel the, the stretch through the, the shoulder and pec area, and get to the point where you feel a good stretch through there. It should not hurt. If it's very painful, I would skip the stretch altogether if it's very painful. If it's just a little uncomfortable and you're at this position, maybe back up just a quarter or a half an inch just to, 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 to get rid of that discomfort. It shouldn't be uncomfortable. You should just feel a nice stretch through there. So I lean forward and now I feel a good stretch through the area. At that point, I'm just gonna hang out here and breathe deeply for about 15 seconds, okay? Just nice and easy, 15 seconds, and let the, let the stretch relax the muscles a little bit. Okay, after 15 seconds, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna do a contraction. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be pushing into the, 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 the door jam or the squat rack. I'm gonna be pushing forward, but it's gonna be an isometric contraction. In other words, my hands are not gonna move because I'm pushing into the, the side of the squat rack here. So I'm gonna be applying pressure. So I'm at the point where I have my stretch, I hung out for 15 seconds. Now I'm pushing into the pole here. I'm pushing into the squat rack. Use about a third of your strength, okay? So we're not trying to push the, the squat rack over. I'm just getting a contraction. So about a third of my strength, I'm gonna push into the squat rack and I'm gonna hold this isometric contraction for 10 seconds. So count 1,001, 1,002. So after 10 seconds, now I want to just relax again and just kind of lean forward. You'll notice you can lean forward just a little bit further now. Nothing, it's not gonna be some big dramatic change, but just now you're gonna notice you probably get a little more lean forward, a little more uh, stretch, a little deeper stretch. And at that point, again, we're gonna hold it for 15 seconds now. After 15 seconds of relaxing and deep, breathing deeply, again, we're gonna do a contraction. Third of your strength, you're gonna again push into that, that uh, door jam or the squat rack, and we're gonna hold that for a 10 count, 1,001, 1,002. Again, hold it for a 10 count. Relax. At that point, when you relax, again, lean forward a little bit. You're going to notice, again, a little bit of an increase of the stretch. And we're going to hold that for 15 seconds. After 15 seconds, we're going to do one final time of pushing and doing that isometric contraction. Just a third of your strength. Don't, don't push too hard. Hold that, that contraction for 10 seconds. Relax and do one final stretch forward where you open this up even a little bit more. Hold it for 15 seconds, and then you can relax. When you get done, you are going to notice, compare it to the, the side that wasn't bothering you, you're gonna notice a lot more mobility. If it feels really, really good, 
like we were talking about doing it before workout. If you feel like it's restored the mobility, you can, you can do your chest workout, keep the weights lighter as we talked about, but you'll, you'll be able to get to a safe chest, chest workout because you'll have that mobility back, okay? It may tighten up later. You know, this is something that it, there may be some adhesion in there. There may be some restriction in there. As I mentioned, you can do these techniques every day and it may take sometimes two or three days, but it could also take two, three, four weeks to, to fully loosen it up. It depends on how much restriction was in there, but you can work it every day. So don't be discouraged if you do it and it only loosens it up for an hour or two and then it tightens back up. That happens at the beginning. Just slowly begin to do it every day um, and, and keep at it, just be consistent. So anyways, those are the techniques, the soft tissue warm up, the contract, relax, stretch, give it a try. Leave me some comments in the comment section down below. I'd love to, to get your feedback after you've worked the techniques for a while. Let me know how it's going. So best of luck to everybody, prevent injuries, stay young, train hot. Hey, if you haven't done so already, take a moment right now, visit my website, www.okramedhealth.com. We have a full line of fashion release products. Everything is in stock, the Game Changer, the Tai Chi Max Ball, everything is in and ready to ship out. So when you have a chance, check out the website. If you haven't done so already, take a moment right now, subscribe to my channel, Okramed Health on YouTube. Um, questions about exercise or injuries, just leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I do the best I can to get back to everybody. And don't forget, Okramet Health is here to keep you fit forever.